Abby. Today is Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. This week, GSA will be selling bracelets, patches, pins, stickers, and more during all lunches. All proceeds from the sales are going to support the Effort of Public Library in their mission to be a resource for every community member. So come out and support Effort of GSA and the Public Library all at once. Is your typical lunchtime banter bo boring you? Do you want to test your quizzical knowledge? Are you overly competitive when it comes to games that don't matter at all? Sign up for Lunchtime Trivia in the library on April 19th. Teams of 2 to 5 will be accepted after their lunch period is verified. A sign-up link has been posted on Schoology. Libraries are important. Write to your local elected officials and tell them why the library is important to you. Stop by the Media Center for a list of elected officials to choose from. You can print your letter and drop it off at the circulation desk or email it to Mrs. Kaiser at patricia underscore kaiser at eastpa.org. They will mail these letters for you. A score Sora scavenger hunt will be happening throughout the month of April. Yes, books are available online too. Stop by the media center for more details. Prices will be drawn at the end of the month. Now over, video, now over to a video about Deus Helens. This Friday, join Africa GSA and other GSAs nationwide in celebrating Day of Silence, a national remembrance of how LGBTQ voices have been silenced over the course of history. On Friday, students are encouraged to take a vow of silence and let the impact of our voices be heard. On Friday morning, you can come to the Media Center and receive a name tag that says, Hello, my name is Silence, and not talk for the day. If you cannot take this vow of silence for any reason, you can still participate by coming to the Media Center and getting a name tag that says, Hello, my name is Ally. Remember, your education comes first. So talk to your teachers before Friday to get everything situated. Join us on Friday morning for Day of Silence. Today is National Pet Day. Although if you're a pet owner, you know that there's a, never a day that goes by that you don't celebrate your animal companion. So hug your hedgehog, bond with your bunny, and cut your kitty some catnip. That critter makes you happy, and that's not all. Over the past 10 years, the National Institutes of Health has been a partner in research to determine the physical and mental benefits of having a pet. It turns out that not only can pets steal our hearts, but they can also contribute to our overall cardiovascular health by lowering cholesterol and blood pressure levels. Now back to the main desk. Attention seniors, it's time to vote for your 2023 prom king and queen. Ballots are on Schoology now and voting will take place in two segments. April 3rd to 14th, you will vote for your top six female and top six male nominees for king and queen. April 17th to 21st, you will vote for prom king and queen. Only one vote per student. Good luck and see you at prom on April 22nd. If you want a senior in the drawing on Friday, please turn in your proposal by the end of the day today. Pick up four in Marsock's room, 123. I repeat, stop down to Marsock's room, 137, if you want to actually dictate what your senior does this Friday. If you do not do turn it in the form today, we will be very, very mad. If you are interested in running for representative of student council for the 2023-2024 school year, please fill out the attached petition with 30 signatures of students in your grade only. You will also need a letter of recommendation from a teacher. We take the top six students from each grade to be members of student council each year. Petitions and teacher recommendations are due Friday, April 14th. Voting will happen the following week. If you have any questions, please stop down to see Mr. Marzok in room 137. Now over to lunch. Hello guys, it is me. And I am in the Bahamas right now. Sponsored by Native Coconut and Vanilla. 
Um, so for today we have chicken fries on a whole grain roll. We got a sloppy Joe also on a whole grain roll. We got a Cuban, but that's on a pretzel roll. Garden burger. Turkey BLT flatbread. A taco salad. And of course, a fruit and yogurt parfait with a muffin. There's an earthquake happening, guys, right now. Ah! Just looking for the Sports Channel, Gary. Wednesday, softball lost 6-3 at Conestoga Valley. Tennis lost versus Hempfield. And baseball won 10-0 versus Conestoga Valley. Thursday, softball won 5-0 at Dallas Town. Girls lacrosse lost at Mannheim, Mannheim Township. Volleyball lost 0-3 at Mannheim Central. And boys, lost, boys lacrosse lost versus Mannheim Township. Yesterday, baseball won 13-2 versus Lebanon. Tennis loss versus Mannheim Township, and softball won 10 to zero versus Lebanon. Today, track is at LS, and volleyball is home versus Lancaster Mennonite. Now back to the main desk. Also, no year of meeting today after school. Students will go to period six for act today. Have, Have a great, great day, day after that. Bye. 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 That's the end of the show now. Bye. That's the end of the show now. That's the end of the show now. That's the end of the show now.